ಅದೃಶ್ಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ರೂಪ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಜಿದ ನಂದ ಜಿದ ಸ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರಾಮ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಂಗ್ ಟ್ವಿಸ್ಟರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ವಿಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಸ್ ಅನಂತ ಜಿತ so why are we speaking about victory in vishnu sahasranama because we come to the second 21st nakshatra of uttarasha the second victorious one the second invincible one pay close attention to this nakshatra because we are in this shift going through right now pluto is passing through this nakshatra and will do so for quite a number of years So what is this Uttara Ashada Nakshatra about? Well, let's see where it falls in first. It falls between 26 degrees 40 minutes of Sagittarius going up till 10 degrees of Capricorn. Now we are moving from the end of Sagittarius to some degrees into Capricorn. Okay. Now Capricorn being 10th house and all about external manifestation, external material power, etc, etc. This nakshatra is all about that. It's as Capricornian as it gets. And it has two Vargottama Padas, the first and the second, the Dharma and Artha. Because Dharma, Sagittarius goes into Sagittarius in Navamsha. And Artha, Capricorn goes into Capricorn in Navamsha. So this has got... very good angles over there if you want to look at it closely where is your planets and points falling into especially if it is saturn or jupiter or something like that which is the which will make you do stuff in the world depending upon what your inclinations are so the nature of this nakshatra is fixed the fixed type of nakshatra which means if your personal planets or points or saturn or jupiter or anything falls in this there'll be a very fixed type nature gana is manushya so they are still about making practical things in the earth happen the deity is vishwadeva or universal gods these are a whole bunch of them therefore the mantra is vishnu sahasrama he is the lord of vishwadevas so the energy we are talking about energy and life themes of nakshatras only here we'll do other examinations later the energy of uttara ashada is maintaining victory and status through responsibility responsible action especially in pada 1 sagittarius exalted okay in purva ashada we started to Uh, go for victory now once you have victory in something you got to maintain that victory that is uttara ashada another theme of this nakshatra is they work for larger collective causes capricorn 101 because capricorn is all about working for the others working for the masses ruled by saturn saturn wants to work for the masses it's victory of good over negativity large causes may be in capricorn going into aquarius in the third pada victory of good over negativity is like a final victory they can be pioneers they have a lot of positivity they love tradition they have positive ancestral connection and they have very high ideals especially in first pada because sagittarius exalted there going into sagittarius in navamsha establishment of new institutions that could be another theme of these people they could become workaholics they have a theme of orthodoxy they very orthodox tradition and orthodox sagittarius and capricorn there finding practical applications is their job they need to be receptive especially in pada 2 why because they can be stubborn in not receiving other people's suggestions thinking no it all kind of thing this could not be doing good for these people they need to be receptive they have a theme of late success in life and struggles in earlier part of life in earlier part of life they may have a lot of struggles but later they will have a lot of success also another theme which is kind of queer is the spouse is wiser than them especially with the fourth pada capricorn going into pisces so what's the life lesson in summary individual wisdom and action 
merging with collective cause is the ultimate victory which means removing separatism this is what pluto is going through right now in the heavens this particular nakshatra so what is it doing in the world i leave it to you individual wisdom and action merging with collective cause is the ultimate victory ultimate victory meaning what in this context it meaning that victory which cannot be snatched away from you it's permanent victory uttarashada is about permanent victory not temporary wins here and there so it's a very powerful nakshatra mantra i recommend is vishnu sahasranama the age is active for this nakshatra is 5 12 24 36 44 48 59 61 67 72 77 and 83 highly active nakshatra so depending upon which ages are running in your personal chart right now and if you have uttarashada prominently playing this will be active when you are of this age that's what it means next we shall be doing the shravana nakshatra meanwhile take care